everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I would like to make a special announcement about a new series which will be coming up on the channel that you will see next year. So what I'm going to be doing is a series of light fast test videos. I have decided, especially after some recent controversy with some well-known paint brands, that I don't trust them anymore or their light fast ratings. So I decided I'm going to test everything that I own for myself. So some of the brands that I have here, most of these are going to be watercolor swatches, but the first video in this series will actually be on some acrylic paint swatches, some acrylic yellows that have been in the window now for seven months. And um, that will be the first video that you see probably um, in January of next year. I have done that test on um, several of the uh, common acrylic yellows that I didn't trust the ratings of and some of the new updated replacements for those yellows. And I have the test from the window that gets the most light, but also some lighting just from in my studio just to see how indoor lighting would do as well. But here I have to show you Daniel Smith's watercolors. I have them tested out. I did uh, a strip at full tone or the mass strength and then at least a 50% dilution. Um, for each of those and I have the shimmer the iridescent ones here as well and I have a set coming in the mail that I'll also add to this I got the Jean Haynes I believe it is master artist set by Daniel Smith um, I purchased it on Black Friday and it still hasn't arrived in the mail but I'm wanting to do a video on the channel when it arrives and also I'll include that as a light fast test video later on down the road here I have the Sennelier watercolors, and you can see in some of these where the mass tone is very, very strong or dark, I used three stripes of color because there's a wider range of tonal values. So I wanted to see how dark, medium, and light would do, particularly things like blue indianthrin, the forest green, colors like that. Dioxazin purple is another one that you'll see. So that is Sennelier. I have um, Daniel Smith off to the side. Here I have the Winsor & Newton watercolors, and most of those I did three, sometimes four stripes for, because I used those for floral work, and um, I really wanted to see how the they would work in a very light tint. I don't know if the camera's even gonna show that there. Um, so that's going in the window. Mission Gold, these are new paints to me um, that I've been playing around with. I'm gonna do a review video, and I have a Swatch With Me video on the channel. For that so mission gold my beloved M Graham watercolors and for many of these I did three stripes because they're the paints I use the most and you know I mean again if your 50% dilution does well and a lighter tint does well you don't necessarily need that one in the middle but I really really wanted to get the most information for this and for Prussian blue I actually did four stripes not just because it's a very dark color and you can see such a wide range of tonal value here but because they're still claiming this is a light fast of one and I anticipate a lot of fading in these bottom two stripes but we'll see maybe it might surprise me there so there's my M grams and then here are the core watercolors continued on this here because they're not all finished um, I didn't have enough room here and I did like I said the mass tone and then the 50% dilution at least and like again with doxas and violet I feel like most people don't use that mass tone so a 50% dilution wasn't quite enough for me I wanted to have a very pale stripe of that as well and for the sap green so there's my core watercolors and then off to the side here I have some larger swatches of colors that I just don't trust um, and since that's the case I wanted to run a second test on these to be sure. So this is uh, Coors Permanent Alizarin Crimson, which is PR177. Uh, we'll see about that. Daniel Smith's Permanent Alizarin Crimson. I've heard some controversy about that because it also contains the PR177, but it's a triple pigment mix. Mission Gold's Rose Matter, which is PR176. I'm feeling real suspicious. I don't trust that. And then this is uh, Sennelier's French Vermilion. So um, this one I trust more, but I still want to see for myself. And of course, these are included in these larger swatches over here, but, um, or rather, you know, like here's, let's see, this is Coors, 
uh, permanent lizard crumbs in here, but again, I wanted to have a larger swatch because I really wanted to put these to the test. So that is it. That's what I have. And of course, I'm going to add the Jean Haynes set, Daniel Smith set to these as well as soon as I have them in my hands and I'll do a video on them on the channel. So I'm going to do um, a six month light fast test for the first video and then I'll update again. We'll, we'll take a look. We'll do a video at six months because that's a lot of the times that's what people find to be standard. But then we'll put them back in the window after that video. We'll go, go all the way to one year and I'll update and do another video because some people say that's too long one year. Some people say that's perfect. So I want to see both, so that's why we're going to do that. I'm really going to put these to the test in the window that receives the most light for the good majority of the day, and we're we're going to really test these. And like I said, I have videos coming on some acrylic colors in um, PY3, uh, Matisse, Goldens, and then they have uh, Hansa Yellow Medium that got moved out of Golden, but they replaced it with some new modern ones, some new like lemon azo and things like that and I've been testing those for like I said about seven month mark now so that'll be the first video you see in the light fast series but that's what we're going to do all right so I just wanted to jump on here really quickly and insert some footage so I can show you my testing method and I want to share a little additional information with you I forgot to mention so this is the piece of paper that all of the swatches are going on I cut each of the paint swatches in half as you can see and it's going to be on this sheet of paper that's going to go in the window in the sunniest window it's a nice clean window everything here is acid free so that is really really important so that we can get accurate results we'll know for 100 percent certain that it's the pigment changing not acid discoloration or some other variable i also washed my hands thoroughly before i came in here and touched the paint swatches swatches and I dried my hands so there's no oils, lotions, cosmetics, food residue, nothing on my hands so that we can be as scientific about this as possible so we have less variables to worry about. I wanted to have as controlled of a test as possible. The adhesive that's sticking these down is some acid-free artist tape that I've used for many years and I trust very well but still none of the tape is directly touching any of the paint swatches and that's really really important to me so that it can't interfere in any way shape or form any way possible with my results I just went ahead and kind of made a little loop with my tape to make it like a double-sided tape and stuck it down but these are completely removable very easily Easily. I could just pull these right up and everything is marked and labeled properly. All of these paint swatches are on the exact same paper from the exact same pad, um, exact same batch. So everything is very consistent here so that I could be as fair as possible. The other half of the paint swatches, which are all labeled here, this is M. Graham. Um, for example, I'll be able to hold it up and directly compare it. I'll remove this once the test is done. And each and every one of these brands are going to get their own video so that we can take a look and really go in depth, take a deeper dive on each individual brand, each individual pigment so that we don't miss any of the details. I think that's also really important to mention so that we could take a look. You know, each brand will get the video that it deserves to be dedicated to. So I can hold up the side that's going to go in a dark drawer in a notebook and we can look and go, okay, here's Azo Yellow, PY151, here's the mass tone, here's the 50% dilution, and so on and so forth, all the way down the board. And I think that's pretty much it that I wanted to mention, but here is the M. Graham, the Sennelier, these are Daniel Smith, including the shimmer colors. Unfortunately, the only Daniel Smiths that aren't going in the window today at the time of filming, this is 12-5-2022, is the Jane Haynes or Jean Haynes Artist Master set, which I ordered for Black Friday, still has not arrived at the time of filming. But I'll make sure that they go in the window the minute I get them. And for the Daniel Smith video, that it will absolutely have been in the window six months at least for the first video, but I might just do a separate video specifically on that set so that everything can be very consistent. Windsor & Newton, all of these three here. Core, these two here, and the Mission Gold Pure Pigment set. So we're all ready to go. Here it is, it's gonna go in the window right now. 
I hope you guys are excited. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss it. And as always, have a great day, a blessed day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.